Hey, um, see, I have something. Okay. Yeah, good look at <laughs> Um, do you see the the screen is recording? Yes. Okay, good. And then you're seeing my shared screen, yeah? Yep. Okay. Yes. All right, so let's get started. Hi, everybody. So welcome to the Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG. Today is Thursday, February 23rd. Um, quick action item we will cover today and then a really short agenda um, because a lot of stuff has been done and there's big projects that we're going to focus on um, that's coming up. So anything else that I should add to the agenda? Okay. So the action item we had from the last meeting was for me to create a um, the Jenkins Awards issues on GitHub. So that has been completed and the links are in here. Thanks to Kevin Martin's help with, um, with, with that. And then we also posted a blog um, that talks about the awards. So thanks, uh, Bruno, for, for your help with that. You're welcome. So first thing we'll cover is uh, GSOC. Um, yay. Uh, we've, <laughs> A lot we've, of work uh, behind that, yeah. We, we've, been, we've been accepted, yes. And I think the final magic touch was Jean-Marc um, in Foston with that face-to-face -face meeting. So, uh, so thank you, everybody. Yeah, it's it's a team effort. Every piece counted. Yeah. And uh, I just would like to add uh, one point before moving to the two other points is that uh, I started working on some figures or trying to understand what is happening. And something that's often forgotten when engaging in Google Summer of Code is that we gain a lot of visibility of our project, not only the pure GSOC uh, thing. And uh, last week I, I played with numbers, but give you an idea, uh, about 75 persons were clearly engaged. So learned about Jenkins, got involved, were interested, started uh, at different levels to uh, contribute to uh, the project. Just the conversations, uh, since uh, December up to now, which is uh, basically uh, two and a half months, uh, there were about uh, 850 messages exchanged on the Gitter channel. So there, there's a lot of interest. And I'd like to uh, extend my thanks uh, to uh, Chris, who's been instrumental in. Uh, answering the many questions, being on deck, uh, answering before I had a chance to see the messages and doing that. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Chris answered him alone uh, more than than uh, 370 messages just. <laughs> Too many. So uh, a huge, a huge thank you uh, for, for all that. So yeah. we're getting a lot of visibility of that, people get interested, this is all good for uh, our project. And uh, it's only the first step. But how many, uh, I just want to put down the numbers, you mentioned a number for um, Chris, let's say, let's say I need to recompute it, because now with the amount, the announcement, there's a whoops, again, a, a bunch of them. But here, let's say around 75 people were engaged in the Gitter conversations. Okay. And uh, that generated about uh, 850 messages. Eight hundred fifty. Uh, will be more. Mm. And if you want to to mention the number of messages, so well, the way we can say it another time, but yeah, it was a uh, three hundred seventy messages just like Chris. Oh, <laughs> too many for me. I don't know how you manage, but 
Okay. Oh, it was too much noise. Oh, great. Well, I just I, I want also to to mention and, and say oh, yeah. great great work. Yeah. It's a quick answer is is key, and uh, Chris is able to do it. So this is what I wanted to say. I can quickly cover the two other bullet points, if you don't mind, Alisa. Oh, absolutely. So in exactly 20 minutes, uh, we'll start the first office hours. Uh, and we'll start digging into uh, the project ideas. And it looks like there are several people interested in waiting behind the door for the things to start <laughs> and the fun is done. Uh, we're also finishing a blog post where uh, we're proud to announce that uh, we've been selected as a mentoring organization, which is great. We give a few pointers. Uh, and thanks to Elisa, we have a nice picture uh, of all the people that are uh, helping as mentors for this campaign or this season of Google Summer of Code. So really uh, excited to start the real thing now with Google Summer of Code and hope that we'll all have a lot of fun uh, doing yeah. that. So these are my comments about Google Summer of Code, Lisa. Great, thank you, Jean-Marc. Um, so scale 20X, um, the Southern, Southern California um, conference that, uh, the Jenkins project always goes to every year, every single year besides COVID shutdown. So we're back at it again. They're back to their usual um, space this year, which is where I'm happy about because last year we were at the airport in a hotel oh. and every night I hear airplanes take off and land. <laughs> so um, we, Mark and I will be in attendance. We do not have a speaking slot, um, but still our presence there is, um, it's, 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 it's the usual stuff. And we're happy to be able to see Southern California companies stop by and they tell us how much they love Jenkins. That's cool. And you're bringing a small Jenkins cluster. Uh, the, yeah. Yeah. Mark will be bringing that. Now that's a huge cool. sacrifice for Mark because I know how he travels, just a backpack. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so this is a big sacrifice for Mark. So kudos to Mark. <laughs> okay. I, I hope you will get pictures, Alyssa. Definitely. Yeah, I will be Look. tweeting about it um, during the conference. Looking forward to it. Yeah. And then, um, so CDCon, that is in May. Um, the work in progress at the moment is that um, the submissions are, well, the CFP submissions are closed and the review committee is reviewing the submissions. We finished grading it and now it's just a matter of um, which one do we accept? And that Mark made two proposals, speaking proposals, and I think they barely made it to the agenda as in terms of acceptance. But um, I had a, we went over time yesterday. And so I had a drop and um, I don't I don't know whether those were accepted. I also know that Tim Jacome made, I believe it was two submissions, one on um, for his role at Kanos. And then there's one for Jenkins. So we'll, um, I'll find out later whether um, those were accepted or not. Um, and then there were some other good topics on Jenkins as well um, at CDCon. But we won't know until the final agenda is posted. Um, and then the Jenkins Awards nomination, thanks to Kevin uh, for your help with the issue. Um, we, we have the issues posted, which means that the application for your nominations. So if you have nominations, just click on these um, links and then add your comments, who you want to nominate. And then on March 3rd, that's when a nomination closes, uh, we will vote by giving, you know, thumbs up, heart and things like that. Um, so the categories are most valuable advocate, most valuable contributor, 
and security MVP. Um, and then we also, oh, so the blog post has been approved and set to auto merge. Awesome. Thank you, Mark. And thank you, Bruno, again, for the help with that. That's fine. Uh, sorry, not Mark, Kevin. Oh, uh, also, <laughs> uh, I, was, I just had a question here. real quickly as, uh, as far as voting for the awards go. Um, yeah. Because I, I looked a little into it, and what I saw was that it's the voting done by Google Form later. Um, is that, or that was what I read? Is that different this year? And like you said, voting is just going to be emoji. Um, um, so I think last time this was this is probably new this this year. Um, okay. I was under the impression that you know we did the same the same thing that we did last year. But yeah, just follow CDF's um, protocol. Um, they're the one that sets this up. They're the one that's gonna, we're basically just helping to air the um, um, these, these awards with our community, but they're the one that's gonna mainly um, take it to the end, how they want things done. It's a process they've set up for all of the projects. So um, so yeah, I think you're, you're right, Kevin. Thanks for catching that. Okay. Yeah. I, I just wanted to make sure before I start um, saying anything about it at Doc's office hours or anything else like that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Just um, go with Roxanne's um, <laughs> whatever she has set up. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you very much. Cool. Cool. Anything else? Wow. Look at that. I think we're under 15 right. minutes. Yeah, great. I, I have one question for Kevin, but I might ask him offline, but very quickly, as I'm trying to automate the counting and statistics, because they're very interesting, about the Gitter traffic. Uh, Kevin, was there GSOC, uh, this, uh, were there GSOC conversation in the Docs uh, Gitter channel? Uh, not that I've seen in the Doc Gitter channel, John Mark. Um, we've talked about it in Doc's office hours, but uh, the Gitter channel itself has not seen uh, too much action in that regard. Okay, so it's not worth trying to wade through the messages to count any uh, uh, GSOC messages. Then. Okay, uh, uh, that, that me will make. Me... Yeah, I don't think it would be worth it, John Mark. I'll be honest. Um, most of the posts are just Mark or myself saying, hey, it's Doc's office hours times. Um, okay. I don't think, yeah, I don't think it would be worth your time to look through the Doc's channel specifically. Right. Okay, good. That That's great. And th this is enough uh, uh, for that. Uh, publish uh, how I compute these figures. So this can be useful for the people that are going to inherit would I leave after my um, after I I'm gone? So good. Okay. Thank you.